Hi, everybody. Uh, this afternoon, uh, Jen and I are sitting down and reminiscing a little bit about this, our privy program and um, just um, thinking back about the conception of the and the idea and the thought processing and the formatting of the purpose of this particular uh, particular program. And uh, I honestly think I'm going to do a little interview on Jen because Jen's really the one that sat down and said, you know, I think we need next year, this is about a year ago or so, well, it had to be a year ago, Jen, because we, yep. it was in our brochure. Uh, I think we, there's really a, a place for this right now in the Institute. And like all good ideas, you know, you sit there and you think about it and, and it's, it's really, it's been fun so far. We've taped a number of them and... Um, I always get done thinking, geez, why didn't we do this sooner? So um, I'm going to ask Jen to kind of comment on uh, the the reasoning that went into this. I thought what I would do is start off by telling you the word. Uh, uh, it's The word means a lot. Uh, I mean, when people see the word privy, uh, I'm a farm boy, they think of an outhouse and uh, or they think of a private place uh, to sit, maybe. I don't know. But it's really a it's really a big word. You know, you know, it's a, it's absolutely a privilege for us to be able to do this and have the opportunity to talk about contacts uh, or information that we think people might be interested in on a more personal level. And um, she'll get more into that in terms of why we create this this program. But the, you know, there, it's a noun. You know, people that are privy are people that have a real um, I would say an, an intense interest. In some action or or a program or or uh, a thing that they want to be a part of, that they want more feedback and they want to participate in. Um, so you know, uh, it's it's that's the noun part of privy. It's a someone who wants to partake. I think I I did a, I did a Wikipedia search uh, earlier. Someone who has an interest in, you know, getting in on the action or getting in on the meeting or getting in on the. The, uh, the 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 background or the the makings of something that they think is kind of moving and evolving, and so you're you not only are privy for that, uh, you're you know, it's not only do you have a uh, an adjective behind it that means you're privy to it, but you're also a privy. You're a person thing. Uh, you're a person that's interested in something that uh, is moving in a direction you want to be part of. So it's both a noun and an adjective. Uh, I like this. Uh, last year, when we thought of this word, uh, it's really an adjective that defines somebody who has an interest in knowledge or participate wants to be particip participating in something. They want to join the party. Um, you know, to summarize, we feel blessed that you are privy to these discussions. You're privy to these discussions. We want you to be part of this discussion, and uh, uh, that's why we call it privy. But the reason for it uh, really was generated by Jen. So Jen, as you hear me talk, why why did you think this program needed to be created? When you, yeah, when you so me? PRIVY also stands for, um, we kind of shortened PRI video for you, but we really came across this word first. And we liked, you know, just the word. Um, like Ron said, it's a privilege for us to do this. And we know there's a lot of people who are privy to this information. Um, and so it just all fit together so well. So PRI video for you or short privy um, is something that we've now been filming, you know, for a few months, different topics um, for this platform. But it's been, oh, probably two or three years now since I have had, you know, several people comment to me that they want more material for us. You know, how can I get more videos that you guys put out? Um, you know, a lot of times um, during our Wednesday morning staff meetings, we m would maybe talk about something and occasionally, uh, clinically, we would film something and put it up on our YouTube page and people would love it. And then they would comment to us like, we want more of that. How do we get more of that? Like, I would pay for it. Uh, will you guys just create more of that that we can pay for? Because we can't always get to a course or we've taken all the courses, but we want more. Um, so that's, you know, who Ron is exactly describing when it comes right, to the word right. privy. Um, and so it's kind of always been in the back of our head. And um, as technology evolves and more and more things become um, ITized or video or instant um, gratification things you can get online. Um, as we were putting together this building, this is uh, 
what we wanted to do was have the equipment so that we could really um, put this information out there for you. So um, this video software that we have, the cameras, the HD equipment, um, allowing us to do all this recording, um, you know, pretty easy um, with Matt's help and, and putting these together and getting them online right away is something that um, we really set forth as a priority. Um, and so it's after we moved in, we were able to sit down and come up with this program. Um, we have several different um, categories of topics that we will include. Um, it's a monthly subscription program, or you can do a yearly subscription, but we'll cover primary course concepts, so myokinematic restoration, postural restoration, pelvis restoration course concepts, secondary course concepts, which would be cervical revolution, impingement and instability, um, advanced integration concepts. Um, we'll dive into some interdisciplinary integration topics, such as dental integration, right. visual integration, case studies. Uh, podiatry integration, really just any sort of different interdisciplinary integration um, topics that we have. Um, we have a technique section to where we actually have the chance to sit down and, you know, demonstrate a technique, cueing, uh, faulty um, performance of it, um, and just for Ron to kind of answer questions or provide insights to why this technique does what it does or how it does what it does. Um, so a little more lengthy than just describe, you know, reading off the steps and performing it. That's not what we want by this. We want the opportunity to go in depth. Um, I know Ron and I have talked several times about how this is really kind of like a digital diary. You know, this is our opportunity to get those clinical gems um, and information out to you um, quickly, efficiently, and through video content. Uh, the final category we have on there is books, article, and more. Um, so um, we, we did one a week ago, you mm -hmm. know, of a couple mm -hmm. books that Ron has recently been reading. We've done one on an article um, that came across his desk um, a couple months ago. And so that category really allows us to expand upon. Um, and we want to get others involved, um, you know. So we may reach out to some of you and ask to do a remote uh, privy session where we have the opportunity to interview and and have two people on screen remotely mm -hmm. um, We want to get other faculty members in here PRC's PRT's to discuss topics of interest to them um, Last week I had the opportunity to have James here mm -hmm. um, So we, we sat down and did a mm -hmm. session with him. So we want to get more people involved So it's not necessarily just Ron right. and I sitting here um, You right. know, but definitely you'll get a lot of clinical insight right. and gems from Ron right. through this program well, that, that kind of gives it, uh, the background on how this all came about and what the wording all stands for and the meaning and the concepts behind it. I, I, listened, I listened to your talk. I remember years ago, Bobby and you and Janie would interview me on certain subject matter that was novel th at the time. And I look back and I think it seems so long ago. But you're right, it generated a lot of interest. And mm -hmm. we've had so many people that um, are interested in uh, you know, um, spending more time in getting personalized uh, feedback on whether it's a technique or the reasoning behind uh, the sequence of an activity or the sequence of a, of a, of a program, whether, regardless of what course they may be thinking about. And this is, a, this is an avenue for us to kind of clean that up as yeah. well. So your, your questions can be sent to Jen and, or anybody out there, Matt, RJ, or Hannah, and you know those questions will be really looked at, and then we, you know, that's it's 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 a good way now we to have this privilege to answer those questions in a personalized format. Um, maybe after you took a course, or you went to a course, and maybe you were a little confused, or maybe you heard a speaker say this, and then some other speaker said this with respect to the content that might have been a little bit challenging. So it's kind of fun to to uh, acknowledge that and maybe even comment on it and maybe helpfully clear it up. So that's what this is all about. I think it's a great idea. I've sure enjoyed it. I look forward to to doing many more of these as long as we can, as long as I'm around, we can do them. And I really like the fact that you know I saw you interviewing or saw you and James do this the other day. Uh, I like the fact that it's it's going to include uh, possibly some of you and um, some 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 people out there that have some really good ideas and some passion about the the application of PRI. 
I hope that helped this afternoon. I hope that made sense uh, in terms of what we're trying to do with this program. Jan, thanks for much, so much yeah. for uh, answering those questions and for coming up with the idea. Yeah, if you have any other questions, feel free to give us a call or email us here at the Institute. Thank you. Thank you.